chordy compression of the left hip here. So the first step is harvesting the patient's bone marrow, which is a source of stem cells. So the jam chain needle is anchored there into the anterior crust. And there is his bone marrow. So as you can see, if you get the needle in the right spot, it's pretty easy to get a bunch of his bone marrow. So that's 30 cc's. Typically, I'll take as much as 120 cc's of the bone marrow. And this is going to go into the centrifuge, spun down, to give us about 4 cc's of the mesenchymal stem cells, which are going to be mixed with bone graft and injected into the femoral head as part of the core decompression for this procedure. Okay, so we've got our bone graft in here. So this is calcium sulfate, calcium phosphate, demineralized bone matrix, or DBM, combined with the patient's autogenous mesenchymal stem cells. This is all mixed together here. Goes into this applicator. This comes off. There you can see the bone graft. This goes on. And then this long applicator goes on and this allows us to inject this bone graft up into the femoral head through a small incision in the lateral cortex of the bone and deliver this new bone up into the femoral head to restore architecture, provide support, and hopefully reverse the process of uh, avascular necrosis. And that's that.